1043 Eyewitness News at 6. Thank you for joining us. First up at 6 o'clock all week long, the I team is digging into renters' rights. Evictions here in Connecticut are higher than pre-pandemic levels, and many tenants don't even know where to turn. And tonight, Channel 3 Eyewitness News' chief investigative reporter Sam Smink explains what your rights are. Sé que la situación está difícil. It was very hard. Um, I've been living here for se more than 17 years now, and that was the first time I've been through something like that. Through an interpreter, Ziamara Fugan is telling us about the eviction she faced last summer. Ziamara says her Bridgeport landlord asked her to move out after saying she didn't pay her rent in June. Ziamara says she was confused because her bank records show she paid the rent and her lease wasn't up for a few months. It was difficult for me because um, I didn't have, I needed a place to leave. She finally moved down in November after an agreement was made in court and she was able to find a new place. Giovanna Shea fights for renters' rights with Greater Hartford Legal Aid. It's a terrifying time. Shea says eviction filings have returned to pre-pandemic levels in large part because of the significant increases in rent. It's so frightening for everybody. 22,746 evictions were filed in the state of Connecticut in 2022, around 3,800 more evictions than in pre-pandemic 2019. The process moves very fast and it can happen when it's not your fault. Landlords can file evictions against you if you don't pay your rent, violate your lease, or if your lease is simply up. If your landlord wants to evict you, you will get a notice to quit first, a legal document that asks you to leave by a certain date. You're going to have to make a decision about whether you're going to be able to leave by that date or whether you're going to stay and risk that there could be an eviction filed against you. You, of course, could reach out to your landlord. If you don't come to an agreement, your landlord can file an eviction in court. But as a tenant, you have rights. You have the right to defend yourself. So always try to talk to an attorney. Anyone can call statewide legal services for representation or free advice. Connecticut also has a right to counsel law, which gives low-income tenants in 14 zip codes across Connecticut access to free legal counsel in eviction cases. If you are disabled or a senior, 62 and over, you cannot be evicted except in limited cases. A landlord cannot remove your belongings from your apartment or change the locks, even if you owe back rent, unless they win the eviction case in court. I think it's terrifying for many of our clients. Evictions take an average of 54 days from start to finish in Connecticut. Tenant advocates say that's too fast, but Bob DeCosmo, who represents landlords, says if the process were shorter, landlords would be more likely to accept tenants they may not have looked at before because landlords would save time and money. So there's less likelihood of a, of a landlord willing to take a risk because of the, the length of the process. Ziamara represented herself because she couldn't find a lawyer. If I would have been guided and, you know, have helped somebody to help me, I don't think that would have happened. In January, the state launched a new fund to assist renters who may face eviction due to owing past due rent. Households can receive up to $5,000. Our website has more information on that program, plus a list of community organizations that can provide free legal help. And tonight at 630, we will be live on the WFSB Facebook page answering eviction questions with Greater Hartford Legal Aid.